when I started working for National Geographic Society. There were a lot of people that were actually making a career out of doing conservation stories. Stories that move the needle and help save species, and I thought, that's for me. Joel Sartori has spent his life photographing and protecting animals. The photo arc is my 25-year effort to document every species in human care around the world in order to get the public to care about the extinction crisis. Extinction is the complete loss of a species. Extinction is accelerating on our planet thanks to people destroying the world's oceans, forests, prairies, marshes. We're on our way to 10 or 11 billion people. So as, as, as those people spread out, there's less room for other living things, and that's why we have extinction. Extinction's forever, and it's irreversible. We're on track now to lose half of all species by the turn of the next century. It might be worse than that. The photo arc, in a sense, is, is, a, is a big meet and greet. It's a place where people can literally see animals that they didn't know existed, hopefully fall in love. It's about eye contact and seeing these animals instantly, but without distraction. And it's a great equalizer. Some of them are cute and some are ferocious and some of them are what we'd call ugly and some of them are so odd we can't even begin to understand how they exist. But they all get people in and get them thinking about our connection to nature. These animals need to have their stories told. That's what an explorer does, is we go out and we find things that people don't know about and we bring it back and we tell them and we try to get them engaged. In a way, I'm a voice for the voiceless. Each new species we bring on board the Ark can be a, a critical link and can help change somebody's life in a way where they actually stop and think about what we're doing to the planet. There's still time to turn things around, but we've got to start paying attention. What can we do? Well, in the case of monarch butterflies, which are in steep decline right now, we can plant milkweed in our backyard gardens. That's the host plant that butterfly needs to lay its eggs on for its caterpillar to feed on. What else? Reducing the amount of chemicals you put on your lawn, eating less meat or no meat, recycling, reusing what you buy, reducing what you buy, support your local zoo. There's a million things people can do, and this is actually a great time to be in conservation.